In this video, we're going to take a look at the addition formulae. So, what I'm going to do here is just state the addition formulae for sine, cosine, and tangent. So, let's get started. So, for sine of a plus b, and we can express this here as sine a multiplied by cosine b, cosine a cos b, and then we've got plus cos a sine b. So cosine a multiplied by sine b there. Okay. Moving on to now cosine of a plus b. Then we can express this here as cosine a cosine b. So cos a cos b. Then we subtract here sine a sine b. So sine a sine b. And then if we move on to tangent here of a plus b, then we can express this here as tan a, so tan a plus tan b. And we divide all of this here by 1 minus, so 1 minus tan a multiplied by tan b there. Okay. So now, if we move on to sine of a minus b, and this would give us sine a cos b. So we've got sine a cos b. And then we minus cosine a sine b. So what you'll notice here, pretty similar to sine of a plus b. The only difference here being that instead of a plus, we have a minus. Moving on now to cosine of a minus b. And we can express this here as cosine a cosine b. So cos a cos b. And now we add um, sine a here and sine b. Like so. And again, Notice it's pretty much identical to this, but rather than a minus here, now a plus. And then finally we have tan of a minus b here. And we can finally express this here then as tan a. So tan a minus tan b. So tan a minus tan b. And we divide all of this here by 1 plus tan a times tan b there. Okay. Again, notice it's almost identical to the result here for tan of a plus b. The only difference now being rather than a plus here, we have a minus. Rather than a minus here in the denominator, we now have a plus. Okay. So these results here, thankfully, we don't have to memorize all of these. These are now given in the formula book here. So in the formula book, they're given a little bit differently. Um, in that sense, what I mean by that is, in your formula book, you'll see this. So sine of a plus or minus b, so a plus or minus b here. This would be given then as sine a cos b plus or minus, but it's plus or minus cos a sine b there. Obviously, we have sine a plus b. And that would be sine a cos b plus cos a sine b. I can see that just corresponds to this result here at the very top. So for cosine then, for cosine a plus or minus b. Well, in this case, then we get cosine a. We get cosine a um, cosine b. And then we get minus or plus here. And then we've got sine a times sine b. And then finally here, for tan of a plus or minus b, plus or minus b here, and we can express this here as tan a, we've got tan a plus or minus tan b. And this is all divided here by one, minus or plus, tan a times tan b there. 
Okay. But like I said, it's these three results here at the bottom, which is what you'll see in your formula book. So these three here at the bottom, are what you'll see in the formula book. But the good news is then, like I said, you don't have to worry about memorizing all these results. They are given here in the formula book. Okay. Now that brings the end of this video on the addition formulae. So in the next video, we're going to take a look at the double angle formulae.